what is good uh it's been a while i haven't been posting on youtube lately um to be honest i ha actually haven't been opening pokemon cards at all it's been it's been a long time actually <laughs> but as you guys know scarlet and violet 151 finally came out and while i wasn't the earliest uh, person to get my hands on product i was finally able to buy stuff and just wanted to document uh, my pulls pretty much so let's get into it and let's see what we can open so pokemon 151 is very popular because obviously gen 1 right um gen 1 has always been a staple for the community it's the original so anytime kanto stuff comes out people are gonna go crazy for it so as you can see in this binder collection you get four packs and you get this Scarlet 151 binder. So usually when Poke when the Pokemon company ships products like this, it's usually pretty low quality, but this binder actually feels pretty sturdy. You know, this actually kind of feels like a cheaper um, Ultra Pro binder. Uh, it's a little flimsy actually not as high quality but you know what this might actually be good enough for a uh if we were to go for a master set maybe maybe we'll actually store our pools in here but cool but anyways um so yeah this is my first time getting my hands on any Scarlet and Violet 151 booster packs. I know the Japanese uh, cards have been out for a bit, or the Japanese 151 set, but it didn't really interest me. Although the Master Ball, uh, the Master Ball Reverse Hollows are pretty awesome, but fortunately English never got that. But let's get into it. Let's see what we can pull out of these four packs. So. I from what I'm seeing on YouTube and from other people, it seems like this is a specialty set, but hits are very inconsistent. So let's get that out of the way. I don't, is there a card trick to this? Uh, as you can see, I'm really rusty. You know what? Let's just go straight into it. Um, see what we get. Oh, Pidgeotto. Wow, this artwork is so cool. Um, I'm a huge Kanto Gen 1 fan. So excuse me while I appreciate this artwork. Sea King, Cha, Psyduck. And Wiggly Tough, so we got our first hit. And a basic energy. So it looks like you don't have to do card tricks anymore. Or I guess Scarlet and Violet, you don't really have to do anything fancy. I guess all the hits are in the back. Yeah, let's put that to the side. So hit right off the bat. I think the chase cards so far are um, Charizard EX, obviously the illustration or, or do we call them illustration rares? Yeah, the illustration rare. Oh yeah, no card trick. Let's just go straight into it. Oh, this is so cool. Look at this ghastly. You know, the artwork's pretty cool in this set. I might actually go for a master set. Oh, Dragonair. Seedra. Kabuto. Spiro. Oh, and we got our first illustration rare. A Bulbasaur. And an Aerodactyl Hollow. This is pretty neat. I don't have any sleeves right now, so please don't crucify me. Um, just put that to the side. Yeah, as you can see here, I'm, I'm really slow at opening packs, so please bear with me. Cool, Clefairy, Machop, Porygon, Electabuzz, Hypno, 
Polyrath, Pidgeot. Ooh, that's interesting that they made Muck a Dark type um, in the old the old days or the the vintage cards. Muck was a Grass type. Execute and a Jolteon Hollow. You know what? I might actually go for a master set. Oh, and we get the hollow um, electric energy to match it. That's pretty cool. Actually, I was, these hollow energies look pretty crazy. It's like the old Cosmo foil pattern or Cosmo hollow pattern from the old days. You know, it would be really cool if they made the that hollow pattern come back for the regular hollows. But sweet. I might actually go for a master set. This is actually pretty cool. Um, I don't do master sets by any means, but you know, with this binder, and because it's Pokemon 151, let's just might as well go for it, right? So we have Magikarp, Oddish, Mankey, Meowth, Ooh, Kingler. Energy sticker. We have Rhydon. I remember when I used to think Rhydon was like the, the strongest, coolest looking Pokemon. But he got a evolution later on in Gen 4. Uh, reverse Hollow Butterfree. Wait, is that a Reverse Hollow? No, I'm tripping. It's regular. Cubone. And a Hollow Machop. Cool. I guess not bad for our first four packs of 151. Um, let's see if I can pick this up without damaging it. Struggling over here. Okay, cool. Alright, so let's look at our best pull so far. So this Bulbasaur is really nice. Really clean. You know what? Let's go for a Master Set. Um, I guess what I'll do is, if I ever get my hands on any ETVs, I'll take the sleeves and we'll go ahead and put it in this binder. Anyways, thanks for watching. Um, bear with me as I'm new to this. I, I don't open packs for a living, so. But I'm gonna try to document my pulls as much as possible. Um, and maybe I can show my master set progress as we go along. So thanks for watching, uh, like and subscribe, any feedback that you give, I would appreciate it. <laughs> All right, cool. Everyone have a nice day. Thank you.